Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from EmpoweredCreator.com. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here, I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything for you guys. So if you like this content and you would like more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment below, and also just stick around. I would also like to let you guys know that I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, email coaching, small group coaching, as well as custom subliminal audios for whatever your needs might be. And if you're interested in any of these services, you can click on the link below in the description box. It's going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. So today's topic is do thoughts create? Do thoughts manifest? There seems to be some disagreement in the community. Some people will say, yes, absolutely. Thoughts do create, thoughts do manifest. As a matter of fact, everything starts from thoughts. It cannot start from anything else. That is the starting point. So it's always your thoughts that ultimately manifest. And if you have feelings, if you have states that you go through throughout the day, um, that still starts from your thoughts. There are other people who say no. Thoughts do not manifest. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about, you know, having this or that negative thought here and there. What creates is your general state. So which one is true? So I'm going to speak from my experience and say that in a way they're both true. Because thoughts can create, they do create, they can manifest and they do manifest. Now, what happens with thoughts, though, is that most of them are fleeting. So the thoughts that do manifest, which are often a fleeting thought, and that, that can surprise us because a lot of the time we're going to see something that we thought about manifest and we're like, oh my God, I just thought that for one second or two seconds and here it is, it's manifested. And we're like, whoa, <laughs> you know, but... Fleeting thoughts even do manifest and they can manifest. And I'm sure we've all had this experience here or there. The thing with thoughts though, is that in order for them to manifest as single thoughts, um, they pretty much have to be very pure as in go unopposed. Um, we need to not have any other thoughts that contradict them or oppose them. Um, we need to have very little or even no resistance to whatever that thought is so that we can see it manifest. Um, and that's why random fleeting thoughts manifest here and there. But the thing is, this is not consistent and it cannot be consistent. And this is also how the world is designed. Because imagine if every thought that passed through our minds manifested. Imagine the chaos and the craziness and what would happen in the world if every single thought we had manifested. So for that reason, thoughts can manifest and they can create, but they don't consistently manifest and they don't consistently create. It does happen from time to time. It can happen a lot even to some people, but it doesn't happen that consistently. What is more consistent and most consistent is manifesting from the state in which you're in, your dominant state, and also the beliefs that you hold deep down about yourself, about the world, about whatever situation you're in or about your circumstances, whatever it is. That's what manifests most consistently because that is what your subconscious has accepted as true for yourself. And that is what your subconscious has developed as a pattern. And that is what your subconscious is going to be projecting out into the world at the most consistent basis. Everything else, fleeting thoughts, fleeting feelings, yes, they do manifest from time to time. If they go, if they're pure, if they go unopposed, if you don't have resistance to them, especially, yeah, you can expect a good number of them to manifest here and there. But for more consistent manifestations, for more long-term results, for not just 
a thing here and there. It's the state that we need to pay attention to and our subconscious patterns that basically project our assumptions and our beliefs out in the world. And then the world mirrors it back to us. So it's your most dominant state, what you believe about yourself, what you believe about others, what you believe about relationships, about the world, about other people, about a situation you might be facing, about a circumstance you might be facing, about your life or life in general, about, I don't know, God, the universe, whatever, however general you want to make it. But it is your dominant state and your dominant assumptions that are very often on a subconscious level and have been accepted on a subconscious level that are projecting and manifesting your life out into the world and make the world project it back to you and reflect it back to you like the mirror that it is. I intend that this has helped clarify some things. And as always, I'm very happy and very grateful that you're watching this content. I love that you're here and I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.